Hey everyone, Case of Rules here. This week I have another CMS tutorial for you guys. I know I've had a few in a row here, but this one I felt that I really should show you because it's really awesome, even more than any of the ones that I've shown you previously. Um, this one is called SMF. Uh, if you don't already know what it is, SMF stands for Simple Machines Forum, and it's always been a type of competitor for PHP BB, which I've showed you how to install in the past. Um, in my opinion, SMF1 versus PHP BB3, PHP BB wins, but SMF has just recently released their uh, RC of their 2.0 version of their forum, and I have to say that it is awesome. If you've ever heard of vBulletin, it's very, very similar to that and can actually compete with it. vBulletin is, however, a proprietary CMS, costs money quite a bit, actually. So if you're planning on buying that, you might actually want to check this out because it's very nice and definitely compete with it. Um, I have it installed right here on sandbox.kfmnrules.com. If you want to go there, you can check it out if it's still up, which I don't guarantee that it is because it's a sandbox for a reason. I change it around a lot, but um, this is it right here. What I've done, I've added a custom theme as well, and um, I think it looks really nice. It's got a forums sort of setup. You can also set up homepage type of things. It actually is very, very, very similar to vBulletin. Um, and vBulletin, like I said, is expensive and really nice, so this is really cool. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to download and install this today, and then I'm going to show you some basic features, as I have in my other CMS tutorials. So you can get it from download.simplemachines.org, and you'll end up at the top, just scroll down to the download SMF 2.0 RC 1.2, and you're going to want the full install. Go ahead and download the zip, and download it. After you're done with that, go ahead and unzip it, and you will get a bunch of files like the ones right here. Now what you need to do is upload it using your FTP client to your website or wherever you want to install it on your website. I have it installed for this tutorial on smf2.ksmnrules.com, just uploaded all the files a few minutes ago. So now that those are done and you've uploaded it, it's about 1500 files, so it's quite a bit, it can take a while. But after it's all done, now we're ready to go install it. So, go to where you installed it to, I did to smf2.casemanrules.com. As you can see, here's the SMF installer, so go ahead and click continue. Now you need to uh, connect it to your database, first thing you need to do, so go ahead over to your cPanel for your hosting, and create a database. So once you get past that point, now you need to just do some basic settings, so we'll call this SMF2. That's the domain as I showed you earlier. Um, you can choose whether you want whether you can choose whether or not you want to use gzip, which I recommend because it can increase the speed of loading for the pages. All of this can probably stay the same, but if you don't want it to or you want to enable stats or whatever, you can. Okay, now it's going to tell you exactly what it's going to put in the database, so that should be fine, so go ahead and click continue. Okay, now you need to enter in your admin information, so I'm going to do case of manner rules. And email address. Okay, and the installation process is complete, so go ahead and check that, and then click this button right here, your newly installed forum. And here you go, this is by default what your forum is going to look like. Now it's not the prettiest default theme in the world, although it is functional. So you can go ahead and check out what it's like, it's got a lot of nice features and stuff, just go on into the admin panel and check it out. I'll move over to my sandbox one that I've uh, been working on a little bit for a while now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on admin, this is where you can get to the admin panel where you can control things. And then on password. And here is the administration center. As you can see on the left, there's a sidebar of all the different things you can do. There are a bunch of different options and stuff like that. They're just, you really have to play with them all and figure them out. I mean, there's things like up here, news, where you can set up like a bulletin for your uh, forum or any information like that. They have built-in newsletters and stuff like that. It's, it's really great. You can create a newsletter and send it out to all the people on your forum. There's, you know, obviously member, um, 
administration like banning people if you wanted to or something like that. Um, you can go ahead and add all the boards and stuff you want like that, change permissions. There's, it's so configurable, it's really awesome. And that's what makes it a lot like vBulletin because vBulletin is full of features and settings and all that. And people really like that, including me. I think it's really good to be able to customize your own thing. I mean, that's important. So, you know, there's all these different things, you know, you can do modifications, um, they have a built-in package installer, so if you want to, uh, like, install mods or something like that, you can browse them and find ones that are cool that you like, you know, you can add avatars or whatever and ignore another user, stuff like that, you know. So it's very, very, very cool. Um, you can get really in-depth with it. Um, a friend of mine, um, he's actually at Nick Booty on, uh, Twitter. And he's the one that found uh, this CMS, and it's really cool. Uh, we've created a um, clan site for Counter Strike together. Um, actually, he created the site, but um, I'm in the clan. And um, you can see it right here. This is what it looks like right now. He's gone and customized it to another level where there's actually not like a forum on the home page, it's actually like a home page. And then you can go over to the forum and stuff like that. And um, it's really cool. He's a really cool guy. Actually, you should check him out. Follow him on Twitter. He posts tech information and stuff like that sometimes. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll post his link in the description. So um, it's a very, very cool CMS. You just I, I know I'm not going really into depth, but if I started, then I would never finish because there's so many options and stuff like that. But just check it out, guys. It's really cool, very useful. If you were thinking about buying the bulletin, you really might want to check this out first because it can save you a lot of money and give you just as good results. So that's about it guys, thanks for watching this tutorial on the Simple Machines Forum to release candidate. Very good CMS and can be very useful, especially if you want a vBulletin like interface. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, this has been Case of Man Rules, see you next time.